Hey guys, how the hell are you? Welcome back once again to Arnold Drinks. My name is Arnold and tonight I drink. So Oktoberfest is happening right now in Germany. I really wish I could be there, maybe someday, but for now let's just bask in the knowledge that here in the States I can still procure a wide variety of various fest beers and Martins with which to still enjoy the tradition even though it's just on my own terms. For today, let's go with an authentic German uh, Oktoberfest beer. This is Oktoberfest Marzen from Einger. This is a 5.8% ABV brew. I have very, very high hopes for this one. I have already had this before, but it was years ago. So let's see if my opinion of it has changed as my palate has. Let's dive in. Also, since I am having an authentic German brew, let me bring you to the attention of one of my favorite German buddies bands. This is Nightmare on my shirt. Their new record came out this year. It is incredible. Go check it out if you haven't yet on your various streaming services. And then when you find out that you love it, go buy a vinyl. Mmm. That is exactly what you want. It's malty, it's sweet, not a sugary sweet, but it's just like kind of a grainy sweetness to it. Little bit of like a zesty note on there, like an orange citrus zest kind of note that's in there ever so slightly. Mmm, man, that smells good. It smells very, very crisp too. Cheers, let's dive in. Mmm. Oh, that is nice. Unlike some of the other beers that I've had for this year's October festivities, this one has um, a very sweet maltiness that kind of hits you in the back of the cheeks. Almost slightly desserty. There again, not sugary sweet, but like pastry-ish a little bit. That is very, very good. Let's go back in. It should be worth noting too that when I mention that a beer like this is pastry-ish, I'm not trying to imply at all that it tastes like a pastry, but it is implying that there's notes there that are very, very similar and bring that to mind. This still very much tastes like a fest beer, like a Martin, but ooh, is this one, this one is just utterly fantastic. This is so good. That malty sweetness is honestly throughout from the aroma, to so the front of the palate, to the back of the palate, to the finish. Kind of a short finish, but that's kind of what you just get out of this style. You get something that has a very short finish to it. It's meant to be refreshing, meant to be something where you finish it and I'm like, hey, I need another. That one is just so good. I'm predicting that this is gonna be my favorite Oktoberfest beer this year. because that is just, not only is it ticking all the right boxes, it's bringing something unique to the table that a lot of the other beers haven't, which is that there again, in the back of the cheeks, in the back of the palate, that malty sweetness kind of opens up a little bit more and uh, sort of evolves into something that's a little bit different, a little bit more desserty. So that is probably my favorite so far of the various videos that you've watched up to this point. So thank you guys very much for tuning in. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, tons more of October festivities to come. And as always, remember, take what you do seriously. Do not take yourselves too seriously.